What's up guys, it's Gary with Fresh From The Farm Fungi. I'm here in Denver, Colorado, and today I wanted to go over um, a really cool piece of equipment. So um, usually I do an unboxing of these things, but this one came only in the Amazon box, which I'll start off and um, say that that's a positive, you know, less cardboard that I have to recycle. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna be talking about this CADCO um, electrical burner so um, as my production starts to grow um, you know the presto canners are starting to become more of a nuisance like uh, babysitting those on the stove and I thought I would investigate um, something a little bit cheaper than a full retort autoclave which might be you know the next step but before I invested a bunch of money into getting an autoclave um, I wanted to explore something a little bit different. Um, my plan is to get two of these CADCO burners and then run my grain spawn um, just using these and either a timer or a PID or um, some kind of an automated system where I don't get bogged down by my spawn. So I found one of these on Amazon for about $120. It's the CADCO um, CSR3T. I got the 3T series. Um, it's a hot plate and it's made out of stainless steel. So, you know, it's really well built. And unlike some of the um, other glass top burners, or I made the mistake of getting one of the, um, the ones that require a magnetic, um, a magnetic pot. Um, so I switched to this simple electric burner, it's an infrared burner, so it's just going to heat up using electricity and then that will power the steam um, to sterilize my, my grain spawn. All right, guys. So, so you can see I got the 120 volt one, it just uses a standard outlet. Um, I believe they make more commercial varieties that are more than 1500 watts, but this should be enough to run one pressure cooker. So it's made in the USA, which I really like, and it's got a stainless steel casing, so it seems, you know, pretty well built. Um, it's got a little vent on the bottom, and I feel like it'll fit nicely on that cart. All right, so you can see here, I've got it plugged in on a cart. It's just a steel rolling cart, and then um, I've got this sterilizer indicator to prove that we've got sterilization, um, but the main important thing is gonna be getting it hot enough to um, just boil the water. So you can see it's got a little light for on and off. And I'll just go right to high and see how quickly um, we can get this thing heated up. So this is just a 32 quart um, Presto cooker. And you can see I've got 20 pint-sized jars with grain. Um, if you're interested in how to prep this grain, I've got a couple videos already on that. But I'm just trying to figure out if this CADCO um, burner is going to be enough to get this thing heated. So you can see there's some steam already coming off the burner. It's probably just the fumes from the factory. So it looks like there's just some residue on that burner. But I'll give this a few minutes to heat up. All right guys, so it's been about an hour now since I started this um, heater and it finally reached 15 PSI. So now I'll cook it for an hour and um, it seems to you know hold its temperature pretty steady. I might have to decrease it down to medium high, but as long as this rocker is going just how it is, I think it'll be great. So um, I'll let this run for the full hour and take it into the flow hood when we're done. All right guys, so that about does it with the um, CADCO C CSR3T. Um, 
the hot plate it's a standalone hot plate it took about two hours from initial start time until um, it's cooling off in the flow head right now so it'll take about 20 minutes to drop back down to pressure and then tomorrow morning I'll be able to inoculate these grains um, I really enjoyed using this product and I think it has a lot of potential instead of um, buying a whole nother stove I could just use these and I have some other ideas of how I'll implement that into the lab but I'll do that in a later video um, alright guys so give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed that video subscribe if you're looking for more mycology videos like these um, check out our fungi Fridays Friday at 4 p.m. mountain time and join in live um, with some questions and usually I just do a topic of the day or topic of the week and it's pretty informal um, but I like to you know hear from the community members and we've been doing a few different projects so um, this week I'm gonna start a Morcella breeding project for the fall um, if you've been following that at all I've been trying to get an outdoor bed going for a couple years now and I feel like I'm getting really close um, I've got three new genetics that I'm gonna run and um, stay tuned for that so alright guys um, thanks for watching and until next time much love